Hello, dear colleagues. Uh, here we have another case of a transcrestal uh, sinus elevation. The patient uh, lost this molar on the upper and left side we extracted years ago. And uh, you had a paramatization of the sinus uh, floor. And today we did our transcrestal sinus elevation. As you see, the first step is always look at the elevation of the Schneiderian membrane without uh, our uh, better tricolsum phosphate material, which is the syntograft. Pull that membrane up before you even try to insert the implant. So the membrane has to be pulled up. You have to do a control, an x-ray control, and check if that material is located around and underneath. That's, I call it always, the cupola. Okay, if you have a cupola here, you can be sure that you can continue with your uh, insertion of the implant with the sinus lifts abutment, which is holding the implant at the crest. It's guaranteeing the prosthetic stabilization and uh, insertion of the implant, which is 100% inside the grafting material and the grafting area. And so there is no contact at all of uh, autogenous bone with the implant surface. And so we have here the cupola once again, as you can see, and this guarantees us a very nice healing. Six months later, you have bone growth. And we did the same thing in these two implants many years ago. It's almost 12 years of follow-up. And here we see once again that cupola, so which are then transformed in native bone. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.